Yo, what's up, YouTube boxing community? This is the Boxing Jay, right here, coming with a new, with another video, coming with the second video on Julio Cesar Chavez. Man, I, I don't know, but there have been some comments left on my other video. They actually think Julio Cesar Chavez will beat Cotto, and you gotta be a dumbass to think that shit straight up, man. Like with all due respect. Julio Cesar Chavez has fought nobodies in boxing. Research his opponents. Research who they have fought. Research if they have been uh title holders. They've all been over the hill people. He fights old guys. He, he fights grandpas. He feel fights people are they're just done with their careers. Julio Cesar Chavez has not done anything to prove himself in boxing. His amateur fights, I think he only did like 20 amateur fights. I don't think he even hit 20 and he turned pro. How is that possible? He got his boxing career paved pretty much just because of his name. And just because he has that zero on his, uh, on his record. And that zero for no losses doesn't mean shit as well. Rocky Marciano has zero losses, but he's not considered pound for pound. Mayweather has zero losses that, that he ain't no pound for pound at all. All the greatest fighters in the world are, are not zero and they're losing. They have a few losses here and there. I don't know, but Julio Cesar Chavez is not a top fighter. And I hope more people can watch this video. So these dumbasses that think Julio Cesar Chavez is a badass boxer. Um, so they can see that he's not. I hope uh, more uh, recognized channels can view this and leave their comments because Julio Cesar Chavez is not a damn boxer that can beat a Cotto. Hell no. Not at all. Hell no. He'll get knocked the fuck out. I, I'll put down all my money I have in my checks and savings account. All my pennies. Everything that I have. I'll put all my money down on Cotto. He... Chavez Jr. cannot be the Cotto. Hell no. He probably can be an Alfonso Gomez, but that that's a really close fight. But other than that, I mean, Cotto's been getting, I mean, Julio Cesar Chavez has been getting his career paid because of his name. He does not deserve pay-per-view revenue at all. He hasn't fought nobody. Even though even when he fought, um, he fought a, a close fight. The crowd was booing him in Mexico. Um, a, a true Mexican prospect is Saul Alvarez. He has much better opposition than Julio Cesar Chavez. He doesn't get pay-per-view cards. And he doesn't have that recognition just because he doesn't have the name. His recognition is definitely going up and it will surpass Julio Cesar Chavez and I can guarantee you that. And if they both fight, were to fight, Saul Alvarez would knock Julio Cesar Chavez out. Saul Alvarez is a powerful fighter. He has power and he'll knock him out completely. I can guarantee you that. Um, he's fought Saul Alvarez fought uh, Carlos Baldomir. He was a former uh, title holder, a former, uh, he was the top of uh, welterweight like a couple of years back. Um, and I mean, Chavez hasn't fought nobody like that. He hasn't fought a top uh, fighter at all. But those are just my comments. I may put this video down because it's, I may post it up just for a little bit, but there's, I mean, I would like to get the comments and thoughts on like 
more recognized channels, but I don't. I, I know Julian Foster watches my channel, my uh, videos. Uh, Blood Boxing, I know he used to, but until I don't know if he still does though. When he got his new account, I know he'll subscribe to me. Um, but I would like to get opinions on this, and I mean, more recognized channels that have more recognition and are have more followings. Uh, because people that have more followings usually have, are, um, well, I'm not all, all boxing channels. Just because they have used following doesn't mean they're more knowledgeable in boxing. But for the most part, there are a few channels here and there that I don't know how they get their followings. And they don't know shit about boxing. But those are my thoughts. The Boxing J. Peace.